Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about the market model by using not algebra, rather using the matrix inversion approach. It is a different way of solving the market model. Let us see how we can do that. As you can see that we have started with the system of equations with three equations. First equation is guiding us about the equilibrium. Jo dusi equation hai wo demand function ko reveal kar rahi hai aur tisi equation supply function ko reveal kar rahi hai. We know whenever we are solving using matrices, hum inko ek rearrangement karte hain iski aur uske baad usme se matrices ko develop karte hain. That is, hum sabse pehle Q D dekh rahe hain, uske baad Q S hai aur uske baad third variable that is P hai. So, isi, isi tarikhe se hum isko arrange karenge. Pehli equation will become this Q S is equal to 0 and the second equation will become q d and there will be plus b p is equal to a and the third equation will become q s plus uh, instead ye minus ho jayegi because hum ise equality ki dusi side se la rahe aur jo constant hai i will keep it on the right hand side so it is clear that we have kept all the constants on the right hand side and all the variables on the right hand side on the left hand side. Now we can extract the coefficients from this. You can see the coefficient of the first equation. The coefficient of the first equation is 1. The coefficient of the first equation is minus 1. And here there is no coefficient. So therefore we have written 0 in the coefficient of the first equation. Here we have seen QD and QS and QS. We don't have any coefficient with QS. Because QS is absent and P ka jo coefficient hai is tafa wo B hai. Isi tarikhe se QD ka coefficient in this case is 0 or QS ka coefficient 1 hai or P ka coefficient in this case mein D hai. And the th second matrix that we form is the matrix of the variables and you can see QD, QS and P. These are the three variables jinne humne vertically lik liya a column vector mein. And this is the uh, column vector of the constants. So, we have coefficient matrix or variable matrix and then the constant matrix ko develop kiya. Jo coefficient matrix hai, usse hum A kehte hai, X kehte hai, hum variables ke matrix ko aur B hai, the constants matrix. Now, isse hum solve karenge, but before we go there, we have to make sure that A inverse is not equal to 0 uh, is possible and that is possible if a determinant is not equal to 0. Otherwise, it will be a singular matrix. Jo a hoga, it will be a singular matrix if a determinant is equal to 0. So, this is we a ka determinant. This way, we calculate kiya. Hum ye dono likhne ke bajaye ek bars ka bhi kar sakte hai, but this is one way to write it. Um, now, this solution is DIY. You will rehearsal to solve solve this determinants which is already known. How do we solve this? The answer is this. And we know D and B are non-zero parameters. Therefore, what we expect is a non-zero answer. Therefore, we are dealing non-singular matrix. And we have a determinant jo hai, it is not equal to zero and hence A inverse is possible. So we are going to put the values in this uh, formula that we have A inverse into B. Let us see how we do that. Aapne dekha ke A inverse ke liye humne uh, jo formula hai usko use kiya. Adjoint of A divided by A determinant. Adjoint of A is here and A determinant is in the denominator. Now, uh, the adjoint of A, as per our previous lectures, this is a small exercise for you. You will calculate karenge. You will calculate the coefficient of cofactors or un cofactors ka aap transpose lenge and that will become the adjoint of A. So, this is something we have already done before. Isko aap rehearse karenge DIY. To save time, I'll, I'm just going to give you the results. So, aapke saamne. And B is as it is. Now, it is simple multiplication. It will remain the same. However, ye jo do terms hai, inko humne multiply kiya, to ye answer hai. Again, this is a small task for you to see ke kya iska jawab yehi hai. Again, you know the rules of multiplication of two determinants, of two matrices, not determinants. 
एंड वंस यू डू दैट आपके पास ये जवाब आ जाएगा अब हम इसे से क्यू डी और क्यू एस और पी की इक्वलिब्रियम वैल्यूज़ को एक्सट्रैक्ट कर सकते हैं क्यू डी की वैल्यू इट विल बी इक्वल टू दिस हम इसे एक दफ़ा एक्सट्रैक्ट करके लिख लेते हैं माइनस माइनस जो है एट द एंड वी एक्सपेक्ट के कैंसल आउट होगा बट लेट इज राइट इट वंस फॉर द सेक ऑफ क्लैरिटी राइट सो माइनस माइनस इज कैंसल्ड आउट एंड द आंसर ऑफ क्यू डी इज दिस डी प्लस बी सो दिस इज क्यू डी अगर आप फोकस करें तो आपको लगेगा कि ये जो क्यू एस की वैल्यू है वो भी सेम है एंड दैट इज ट्रू बिकॉज क्यू डी इज इक्वल टू क्यू एस एज पर द इक्विब्रियम कंडीशन और फाइनली हमारे पास प्राइस की वैल्यू आ जाएगी जो कि हम uh, यहाँ पर लिख रहे हैं सो यू सी ये हमारे पास इक्विब्रियम प्राइस भी कैलकुलेट होगी so in this way matrix inversion ke method ko use karke we can solve the market model thank you